Dockless scooters have popped up around the country almost overnight, and the amount of money that they've raised is incredible. What they are is a scooter that gets placed where people might want to use a scooter. There's no dock, so there was like no infrastructure required in public places. And that's where sometimes um, municipalities make it really hard to innovate. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. I think that the consumer um, really enjoys the scooters. Uh, that's another option, uh, maybe alongside of a, a bike. Sometimes they're not well kept and the scooter tenders at night don't do their job. And so there's some uh, cities where uh, they find them a nuisance. But what's really exciting is that the scooter companies are experimenting all the time and changing how they operate their business. And with one policy change, boom, it can change overnight. One of the really important things about innovation is that it doesn't come in one giant step. Innovation is doing things that nobody else thought of, and sometimes the things work, and sometimes they don't work. Or sometimes it's a hodgepodge of ideas put together. But the only way you can truly innovate is to experiment, take what you learn, iterate, and try it again and again. And what we're seeing in scooters is this iteration and this experimentation happening at a grand scale in front of everybody's eyes and everybody, um, municipalities, consumers, are all participating in the experiment at the same time and everybody will have an important part of that final outcome.